Hello, my name is Stephen Carr, and I'd like to welcome you to another cooking class with Photoshop. In this uh, session, we're going to be working on our materials board. Um, I've set my size at 17 by 11 with 100 uh, pixel inches for the resolution. Um, it's a little bit larger than we need, but if you want to put this in your portfolio, then it's nice to have a little bit larger size. So I'm just going to open up my drawing now, which is good. So I'm going to um, add a new layer, which I'm going to add a color to. Um, I'm going to, if you're working in uh, with color and lighting, then you need to use a black or a white background. But this is just a generic thing. We're just trying to get everybody on the same page. So I'm just going to pick a nice uh, soft background that I can use that will maybe help bring out my materials. Um, if I'm using light materials, I should use a darker background. If I'm doing darker materials, I should use a lighter background. I'm sort of in between, so I'll just work with this, which is fine. We know that to bring in our materials, we've uh, selected them from our pro project. Uh, one of your other tutorials shows you how to remove them from SketchUp. So in here, we're just going to our work folder file place and we go into our work fo folder and then we find our materials so i'm going to just pick my cherry wood cherry that we used on the floor in that project and i'm just going to actually just change the shape of this because um and i'm just going to try to make this be a little bit more like flooring so this is more like a floorboard so i uh, will just duplicate this later layer do that a couple of times and then I'm just going to uh, move move this object over just a little bit, just a little bit of space there. And uh, move this one over. Again, just a little space is required. Now just uh, merge these together. And duplicate it one more time. And again, I'll just move that over. Okay, that's looking really good. Now, um, I can see the green through this, so probably what I would do, let's see, first I'll just merge these. Um, I would just basically go to my basic colors here and I'm just going to put a black background under behind that. So just create a rectangle that just fits inside here. And just put that behind. Okay, I don't know what happened there. I'll just step back. There I go. So you can see that it just shows the paneling out a little bit nicer. So I just uh, merge these together so that I have one object. So now I can just place this on my drawing here. Um, I can work with a couple of little things. Um, I'm going to do some beveled edges and things, but we'll do that a little bit later. So we'll start off by placing, uh, maybe we're going to be using a this carpet on here so we'll just place this carpet on here and it's a little bit large so if I hold shift it just keeps my scaling so that it's relatively equal except that and um, just maybe just move it and I'm just going to add a uh, color now place So I'll just assume that we have a green paint chip that we're going to put in here. So if I want this paint chip to be exactly the same size, let's say I want it to be one inch by one inch or one and a half, with my move tool, if I hold on the ruler, I can just drop that down to say two. Again, down to two. And you can see it makes a guideline here, and I'll come down, say 3.2. So now I can move this 
as you can see that it's too big this way. Again, I'll maybe... I'm just going to maybe pull this one out to here. Say one. It's trying to grab an edge here, I think. And do another one. So if I move this into this position now, if I do my scaling, edit, transform, scale, should be able to just grab that and move it right to that corner. Move that one to that corner. There I am. So now I've made it an exact size. So if I want to get rid of these, I just grab them and pull them off. Now I'm going to try to bring in a tile. I've got this green tile here. It's a nice tile. The only problem we have with it is that it's a single tile. So it would be nice to show a grouping. So I'll just make that that size. And again, duplicate my layer. And move it over. If it's a little bit too far, just use your arrow key to get it to where you want it. And I'll merge these two together. Copy it again. That's really good. So now I can just group these. Or merge them. And I need a grout, so I'm going to put a lighter grout in there, so I'll just do a rectangle on top. And I'll just change that color to kind of a, a lighter color, maybe like a gray. And of course, I'll just slip this underneath here. So now we've created our grout. So we want to try and bring in a few more materials. This is a leather, which I like to use. So I'll say this is my kitchen, so this might be the leather chair that I have. Um, and I may also have a counter. So I'll just bring in a material. Maybe I'll use this for my counter. Again, you can change the order of your objects by just uh, clicking on, on them and changing the order that they sit in the layer. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do some special effects on this. I'm going to start with my wood floor here. And I'm going to add a bevel. And you can, I've sort of set it up once so it looks okay now with that. So I'll say okay. And now I'm going to add a drop shadow. And I like that. So I'm going to pause for a minute here and I'm going to add the bevel to the other materials. It's the same process. Once you've done it once, it's real easy to do. So I'm just going to pause this. Okay, now I've done my bevel and my drop shadow for my floor, for my carpet. On the paint chip, I left it flat because it wouldn't be a lot of thickness. Uh, for my material for the leather, I did it as well uh, for my counter, for my floor. So now what I need to do is I need to set up some text. So again, if you're doing uh, on a light color, you need dark text. If you're on a dark color, you need light text. So I'm just going to do a few little pieces of text here. Just click on my text tool. 
and I'll just select down here. So I've got this thing set to bold, so I'm just going to call this dining area. And this is a little bit on a large size, so I'm just going to knock that down. So that's probably still a little bit too small. Remember, somebody has to be able to read this in a presentation, so we'll just set that uh, size for now. That's 30 points. That's good. So I'll accept that. And of course it's dark so it's easy to see. I can move it into position here. Um, if I want it, I'm just going to call this the kitchen area. So I'm just going to duplicate this layer. And then I'll just move it over. And uh, in my text, click into this and now I can just edit this. I'm just going to stop it now while I add some text for the other areas and because again it's not important that you watch me do it six times. Now as you can see I've done a little bit of work with my lettering. I've just added a little box here which I could put a title on and I brought in my logo. So that finishes this uh, tutorial. Of course you could, it would, you know, you're going to be adding more materials here and obviously uh, it needs a little bit more work but the concept and the ideas here for you. So have a lot of fun and we'll see you soon.